Hey guys, Andrew Geiritz here with Living in Green Bay. So I'm driving in to the office today and I'm thinking in my head, you know, what do we think about and talk about almost as much as anything else in life? And you know, it's mid April in Green Bay. And so it's kind of that time when mother nature is a little bipolar. So I think that's why it's on my mind as well. And that's the weather. So this week on Living in Green Bay, we're gonna break down the weather and climate in Green Bay, Wisconsin to help you get a better feel of what it's like. As you can see, we don't wear parkas and our big fuzzy fur hats all year round, like some of you might think. All right, let's talk about weather and climate in Green Bay. Hello everybody, welcome back to Living in Green Bay. I am your host, Andrew Guywitz. As you heard from me out by the car on the way into work, you know, weather is something that we think about all the time, at least I do. I think it has something to do with just that almost primal instinct that we have to consider shelter and the elements as they affect our life. So I think it's really natural for us to think about that. And you know, it's a really good discussion uh, piece when we're in the elevator with someone we have no idea who they are. So, I mean, hey, how's the weather going? You know, we ask that kind of question, it gets us through those conversations, but honestly, we do think about it all the time. So in this video today, we are going to break down the weather and climate in Green Bay, Wisconsin, just to help us get a better idea of what it looks like here in Green Bay, because, you know, I get questions about this all the time, just about anybody moving here from anywhere else in the country or the world is saying, well, how cold does it really get? Because Green Bay has this moniker, this title over it, that is the frozen tundra. And you know, it is cold. It gets downright freezing cold at times. But I think that some of the history and the lore behind that might get overblown a little bit. So we're gonna break that down to help you get a better idea of what it actually looks like to live in Green Bay, Wisconsin when it comes to weather and climate. Yes, we do have all four seasons. Before we get into this though, would you please, you know, hit the little like button on this video and then also subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell as well if you haven't already. This way you'll be able to follow along with all the things we are doing and the videos we post with living in Green Bay, just to help you get a better idea of the city and learn more about it, just like I am. So go ahead and do that. And then let's jump into this video talking about weather and climate in Green Bay, Wisconsin. All right, so as we get going today, I think it just makes sense to start with the question that I'm most commonly asked. And that's about the winter in Green Bay. But as we talk about winter in Green Bay, I think, like I said in the opening, people have this moniker or this banner, you know, if you will, over Green Bay, that's the frozen tundra. And the images in my mind are, you know, black and white images of football players on this frozen sheet of ice. The uh, Green Bay Packer website says that the coldest game in Green Bay Packer history was, I think something like minus 13 degrees, closer to minus 30 with wind chill and just a freezing cold kind of environment. But if we actually talk about the averages in Green Bay, the average low temperature in January is right around nine degrees. Although it can get much, much colder than that. So, you know, more realistic, it's not gonna always be negative 13 with a minus 30 wind chill. It'll be somewhere, you know, in the low, 10 degree range, which is pretty cold for most people and uh, not fun if you have to pump gas at the gas station. But that's kind of the low end worst case scenario. As far as snowfall goes, that's another question people want to know a lot about. There's people moving here from all over. Some people never have seen snow before. If you are moving here from somewhere warm and you have not lived in a cold climate like this before, please get a good jacket and get a good pair of boots. You cannot overspend on these things. They will take care of you in those cold, cold days. So as far as snowfall goes, uh, I think the average, according to the National Weather Service, is somewhere around 
50 inches of snow a year. So that's a decent amount of snow, but it's spread out over the better part of uh, four to five months, I wanna say. We'll see snow in November, and it will push all the way into April sometimes. So that's what you can expect for winter in Green Bay. It is cold, you can survive. We do spend a lot of time inside though. Also, like I said, jacket, boots, will be your best friend. If you're from somewhere else, you may see people kind of like having their mittens on and rubbing their hands, get friction to warm up, or they'll have um, hand warmers in their gloves. And if they're looking like, you know, kind of funny shaking their hands, it's because they're warming up the hand warmers in their gloves. We have all sorts of ways to stay warm in Green Bay. So don't worry, you'll be able to survive. The people at the sporting goods store will be able to help you and you'll make it through to spring. So as far as spring goes in Green Bay, it's probably the most bipolar month of the, or months I should say, of the year as far as weather. So I think one of the ways you can really see this contrast is just looking at the average temperatures in March versus the average temperatures in April, May, and then getting into June, which I'd say is kind of the beginning of summer. And you know, what we see is in March, the average high temperature is still only in the maybe high 30s. And when we get into April and May, we start to see it creep up quite a bit, even getting into the 60s. Even just this month in April, we've seen 70 degree days. But on the flip side, you still will have sub, you know, freezing temperatures at night. So 32 degrees or below somewhere, most of the time it, you know, it can be somewhere in the low 20s or maybe even in the 10s if it's a really cold time. It's not usually getting like nuclear freezing cold, but you know, we still will have cold nights, so you don't really need to run the air conditioner that much or anything like that. You also have rain during the spring, but it's not like monsoon type rain by any means. I know that's common in some places with spring and the whole old saying of spring showers. So we usually have somewhere in the two to three inch average rainfall over the different months of spring. So in March, it could be two inches, April three, May three, something like that. So, you know, not huge, huge torrential downpours of rain by any means, but we do see the, the rain take away the ice and snow, clear out all of the land. It starts to become green and then get into summer. Summer in Green Bay is one of the really pleasant seasons, in my opinion. We have Lake Michigan, the bay, the river, all kind of intertwined around Green Bay. And I do think that those contribute to the weather in the area. As I said in the opening, we do have those big bodies of water. And so those are something that's a natural phenomenon that I think actually does affect some of the weather that we get. In the summer, the averages for highs are somewhere in the, you know, 70s to like low 80s for the averages. At night, you might, you know, you'll see it dip into maybe the low 60s, could be high 50s at night. Really great weather for having a fire out in the backyard or going downtown and on the boardwalk and maybe grabbing a drink somewhere and just watching the boats drive by or you know going out on the water yourself in your boat and just enjoying summer on the bay or in in the fox river or wherever you might live in the green bay area rainfall is somewhere steady in that three to four inches uh, per month kind of range over let's say may june july august and then when you get into September, you'll start to see the summer temperatures and summer, you know, feel kind of start to wear off. In uh, Green Bay in the summer, the humidity is high. It's definitely not like a dry heat here, but I wouldn't say it's, you know, so stifling that you can't survive. We'll have our humid days for sure, but um, overall, I, I enjoy summer and um, I'm able to have a lot of fun in Green Bay in the summer. The funny thing is, I really think that, you know, as we hit September, fall really starts to arrive. And it's almost, it's almost uncanny really, how 
closely tied this transition to fall is with the beginning of football in Green Bay. Obviously football is a, a fall sport and so it makes sense, but it really does for me trigger kind of a change of mind when the Packers start practicing in late August and going to September. And then we start to see actual football games in September and October. And it just brings in that fall season in my mind. You know, other people enjoy hunting and um, the different fall harvests that are happening, the different festivals. And it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful time to be outside the changing of leaves in the area, go for a drive in the country and just really take in beautiful views across the area with those changing leaves and things like that. And there's really a lot to experience. And I think there's something to be said about kind of a, a colder, maybe 50, 50 something degree day. And just that need to sort of, you know, bundle up a little bit and take a little bit of precaution that way. And it just really has this fresh, kind of raw, cold air feeling that really invigorates. I think it really invigorates you and you know makes you excited to be out there running around and taking in, taking in all of the beauty of fall in the Green Bay area. A lot of people would say fall is probably the best season in Wisconsin or in Green Bay for sure. So, you know, come experience all four of these seasons, see what you think. And like I said, even in the worst of worst winters, you can survive. We have you know, been adapting as human beings forever. And so if you come and get used to it, figure out how people enjoy all of these seasons from winter all the way, to, all the way around to fall, you know, you'll have a great time and enjoy Green Bay and the weather here. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video talking about weather and climate in Green Bay, Wisconsin. To me, it's a really nice place to live and if you can figure out ways to adapt to the cold weather and stuff that there is, you really will get to enjoy all four seasons in Green Bay. And I hope that it kind of helps you feel more comfortable if you're moving here. You know, as I've said in other videos, make sure to reach out to me if you're going to be moving to the Green Bay area. I'm a local real estate agent here and I help people all the time transition to and from the Green Bay area. And so if you need help, if you have questions or you need help finding a home in the area, make sure to reach out to me. My contact information is in the description below. And yeah, I'd love to be a service to you. And I hope these videos are helping with that as well. If you would real quick, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell to get notifications of new videos that come out. We try to release them really often to just kind of help people get to know the Green Bay area better. And it really helps me actually learn more about the city that I live in. And so I really enjoy doing it as well. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time to learn more about Green Bay. And I'm looking forward to getting to meet you when you move to Green Bay or when we see you around town.